flying looks like it. Look at the strength of Donovan Brazier. Donovan Brazier is on fire, ladies and gentlemen. In 2019, he showcased an epic 800 meter race for the ages at the World Championships, where he completely dropped the field with 200 meters to run. Brazier's blazing speed and amazing endurance brought him the World Championship gold medal with a new American record time of 1 minute 42.34 seconds. Moving into 2020, the question for Brazier was will he continue to dominate the 800 meter distance and will he be the favorite for the gold medal in the Olympics? Based on his most recent performance, the answer is yes. The answer is absolutely yes. At the Milrose Games this past weekend, we saw multiple records go down across various events. It really was a fantastic weekend for racing. However, my top performance from this weekend was Donovan Brazier's 800 meters. Through the opening 200 meters, Brazier was beyond relaxed. At no point did he even appear to be pressing in the least as he effortlessly floated through the first lap in 25.6 seconds. At this point, he was actually in the back of the pack, but that was actually part of his race strategy, which we'll make sure to touch back on later. Through the second lap, Brazier continued to stay in the back of the pack as he crossed through the first 400 meters in 53 seconds flat. This pace was drastically slower than his World Championship gold medal last year, where he split through his first 400 meters in a speedy time of 49.2 seconds. Although he was almost a full four seconds behind his outdoor personal best, Brazier had a big surprise waiting for everyone else in the race. As the third lap unfolded, Brazier remained incredibly smooth and poised as he maintained his position in the back of the pack. But then, like a rocket shooting through the atmosphere, Brazier accelerated with a pace that melted his competition. In previous videos, I've made the analogy that certain runners make their competition look like they're standing still. However, Donovan Brazier's final lap at this year's Milrose Games did exactly that. His entire last lap was not just a victory lap, it was a time trial. For most 800 meter athletes, the final 200 meters is a struggle. Even for Brazier during his outdoor American record last year, he only managed a time of 27.1 seconds. With this knowledge in mind, how fast do you think he ran his final 200 meters of this race? Maybe 26 seconds flat, or perhaps 25.5? If you chose either of these times, you would still be far off. Brazier's final lap of this race was an astonishing time of 24.8 seconds. And let's not forget, this race was indoors, which makes his finishing time of 1 minute 44.22 seconds all the more impressive. Brazier's final 200 meters was insane, not just because he was absolutely flying, but because he made it look so easy. Notice the exceptional focus and the relaxed cadence of Brazier coming down the back stretch. This poised running rhythm is certainly the mark of a confident runner, which brings me back to quite possibly the most impressive part of Brazier's entire race. According to both Brazier and his coach Pete Julian, his opening positioning through the first 400 meters was intentional. In preparation for the rest of the season, Julian told Brazier, you need to be comfortable and confident even when things are not going exactly as you want them to be. In short, Brazier purposely put himself in bad positioning so he could practice intelligent racing strategies, and yet he still managed to lower the American record by 0.2 seconds. When you look at the splits of this race, you realize how much potential Brazier really has. Typically speaking, the optimal racing strategy for the 800 meters involves a positive split with a slightly faster first 400 meters. In fact, every outdoor world record since the 1970s has followed this formula. But Brazier's huge negative split is a stark contrast to this historical equation. Brazier can clearly run much faster, that's quite obvious. But just how fast can he run this year? This fantastic time makes Brazier the fifth fastest 800 meter runner ever indoors. And my guess is that he will almost certainly move up on the outdoor list as well this year. Just look at Brazier powering through his final lap of this race. It's certainly the mark of a champion, and I can't help but think that Donovan Brazier will go under 1 minute and 42 seconds this year. And now I have one final question for all of you running legends. How fast will Donovan Brazier run this year, and will he win the Olympic gold medal? Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you all again very soon.